Hi. Now for this question, we're being asked to find the values of sec beta for which 2 tan squared beta equals 3 plus 9 sec beta. And to do this, we've got to use a particular identity. And we want something that can link sec to tan of an angle. And that identity, which you should know, is this one. 1 plus tan squared of an angle, let's say we call it A, is identical to sec squared of that angle. Okay, so that's the identity that you should be familiar with. And from this, we can make tan squared A the subject. Tan squared A would be identical to sec squared A minus 1. And so if we replace the A with beta, then we've therefore got 2. And in place of tan squared beta, it's going to be sec squared beta minus 1. So just put that there, sec squared beta minus 1. And this is going to be equal then to 3 plus 9 sec beta. Well, in order to get sec beta, we're going to need to expand this bracket. So we're going to get 2 sec squared beta minus 2 equals the 3 plus 9 sec beta. And I can see that what we've got here is a quadratic equation in sec beta. So we need to group relevant terms together, these constants for instance, and make it equal to zero, getting it ready for factorizing. So I'm going to subtract 9 sec beta from both sides and the 3. So that's going to give me 2 sec square beta. We'll put the minus 9 sec beta next. And then we've got minus 2 minus a further 3, which is going to be minus 5. And that's going to equal 0. So I can see that this factorizes. If not, could use the quadratic formula. But it's not a difficult one to factorize. We're going to have, say, 2 sec beta here and a sec beta here to give us 2 sec squared beta. Then to get this minus 9 sec beta, if I put minus 5 here, I can see I'm going to get minus 10 sec beta. And if I put plus 1 here, plus another sec beta, that's going to give me minus 9 sec beta, whilst 1 times minus 5 is that minus 5. So that means then that each of these factors could be equal to 0. So 2 sec beta plus 1 could equal 0. or sec beta minus 5 equals 0. And this leads to rearranging this one. If I subtract 1, both sides, and divide by 2, sec beta will equal minus a half. Or sec beta will equal 5, if I add 5 to both sides. Now, you've got to be very careful here, because it's easy to think that you've just got both answers for sec beta here. It actually does say find the values of sec beta, but there is only one. Because when you look at this one here, sec beta equaling minus a half, I'll show you. OK, we'll just section this off here. If we look at sec beta equaling minus a half, then remember sec beta is 1 divided by cosine of beta. And that would be equal to the minus a half here. And so rearranging this, we would see that cosine of beta would have to equal minus 2. Now, the cosine function only goes between minus 1 and 1. If you try to inverse cos minus 2, you'll get an error. There is no solution. So in fact, when it comes to trying to work with this one here, there is no solution. It's not valid. OK, so let's just put that in there. So we haven't got two values for sec beta. We've only got this one. This one is valid because this is 1 over cos beta equals 5, leading to cos beta equals 1 fifth, which is a value between minus 1 and 1. So it would have a solution. OK, so uh, I'll just put a note there. Let's even star that, okay? Note, put a star there, and that's that one there. 
okay? So just to summarize then, we'll just say so sec beta equals the five, all right?